Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Terraform 101 series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your Terraform code more dynamic by using output variables and input variables uh, between uh, in, in the modules. And I'm going to show you how you can effectively use these two to parse values dynamically between modules to reduce your repetitive work of assigning uh, variables right Let, let's get to it for a demonstration purpose i'm going to use two different services here uh, there is a root module main.tf here and uh, as first child module one i'm using ipan it, which is a ip address management service from amazon and another the child module is vpc before i start explaining the whole thing let's see what is ipam ipam is a service from amazon which is the ip address manager which actually helps us to manage you know ip addresses in the whole cloud infra right it helps us to create uh, pools uh, of ips it creates helps us to create scopes and pools of ips and then in the pools we can create multiple uh, you know cadrs and we can allocate uh, each of the CADRs to VPCs that we are creating, VPCs in subnets, uh, whatever. Uh, whichever, I mean, whichever service that uh, requires uh, uh, IP ranges, uh, we can create it in the IPAM and uh, we can allocate it and it gives a complete single pane of view uh, of your entire, uh, you know, cloud infra. Uh, let's see how we are going to use this. First, I'm going to create an IPAM service and I'm going to create a pool, IPv4 pool in it. Uh, it, it it's called a scope and then in that uh, we are going to create CADRs. We are going to pass, uh, we, we are going to pass two values as output from this module, which is uh, one is the uh, IPAM pool ID for reference to the uh, VPC that which is here and uh, the list of CAD of blocks that created in this pool okay and we are going to use this value as a, as a you know a length uh, for the count function and also we are going to uh, you know let the VPC to automatically assign uh, I mean automatically uh, get the CAD of blocks from the pool ID and uh, definitely we are going to exclusively mention the subnet mask we can assign it as a variable also but I in this code I just uh, I made it very simple I'm going to use uh, the net mask is 16 and uh, let's say uh, what we have here for in the root module and we are going to create it in the Mumbai region and uh, first I'm going to call the IPA in module the second module is VPC and uh, this code, I mean, the VPC module is, is uh, you know, we need to find a way to ensure uh, the VPC gets created after the IPM created. So we use VPC depends on value and uh, I mean, this is a variable anyways, uh, I'll show you, I'll explain. Um, we are going to pass these two output as an input variable into the VPC module. Okay, I'll explain the rest of it in the code. First, let's review IPAM module and its variable. This is the variable of IPAM. In this, I have a defined region. This variable defines where the IPAM pool gets created. And I have another variable for the list of VPCs uh, that we need to create. Or maybe we, you can call it as anything, but uh, we could have called it as CADRs maybe. Um, uh, in this demo, for, for a demo purpose, uh, I'm going to create two VPCs with each uh, these CADR blocks, okay? And uh, I'm going to, uh, I mean, this is the variable for uh, the tags for the pool that IPAM pool that we are creating. This variable defined here is to get the capture the output value of uh, IPAM pool ID 
the reason why the, you know the type mentioned is any is that i mean we shouldn't be exclusively mention what type it is so making it as any make it easier and uh, the value i'm going to leave it empty here uh, we are not because uh, we this value gets assigned randomly during the run time and uh, this is not the value that uh, we have it right now while uh, i mean after creating the pool only we would get to know what is the id of the pool so we are leaving it empty the same goes for catrs uh, to capture the output of catrs that created in 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 the particular pool and the reason why we are defining it in the variable here is that the terraform throws an error uh, if the variable is not defined already okay this is the code and uh, here we are creating the ipam and there is a i mean we need to define where where it needs to be created so we, we are getting the value from here where dot region and in the ipam we need to create a ipv4 pool so we are defining it what type of ip address it is and then we need to mention the scope id where where is the scope will get created obviously in the ipam so we are calling it here ipam dot private default scope id and and where, where exactly we need to create again in the same region so i'm calling the same variable again here and uh, we are calling the tags for this pool from here which is uh, here right where dot i can pool tags already now the pool gets created here okay in this pool we need to create these two catrs since it's a it's a list we are going to use the count function and again we are calling here where dot vpcs uh, which would show the i mean gives the value as two here the IP in pool CATR, we need to sorry, exclusively mention what is the CATR block that we want to create. Okay, if we are not passing it as a variable, we should be exclusively mentioned it as uh, uh, the same thing here 15 dot zero 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 slash 16, something like this. It has to be a plain text, so that is. If it is a single VPC, we can we could have avoided the whole thing, and we can simply uh, you know mention it here. But it will be a hard coded one. The code we need to ensure the code is reusable, so it has to be a dynamic uh, uh, value. So that is why we are going to use the value here again, calling it this uh, VPCs and count of index. If you if you have any doubt, what is this and uh, uh, there is a, a video that I have uh, you know, posted about count function, how to use it. Uh, you can uh, watch it. I'll put the link in the description. Here is the important part of it. We are going to use the this variable to capture the output of the pool here. Why we need this? Because we are going to use the vpc to get the ip address about that means the cadr block from the ip address manager okay normally when we create vpc we exclusively mention what is the cadr block that we want to create here we are not going to define it anywhere we are going to create cadrs in the ipam and we are going to make vpc to use IPA, I mean, refer to IPA to get the CA available uh, CADRs to assign it for its own. Okay, there are two things it requires from IPA one is the pool ID that we need, another one is uh, the CADRs from the pool. Okay, so these two values we, we are taking it, passing it as a output variable, and uh, the reason why uh, I mean. Uh, I have already mentioned these two variables has to be defined in the variable tf else the terraform will throw an error stating the variable what mentioned here is not defined 
okay so please ensure you always define the variable and ensure the type as is any and leave the value as empty because the value will be assigned dynamically during the execution get it now here is the best part here if you look at it the id of the pool we have only single ip uh, ip in pool created so we are exclusively mentioning it here okay but there is a difference in the cadrs in the cadrs we have two values okay it's a list of two values how we need to pause it is that we call the resource the cadr and then resource dot put the star between so that it gets the whole bunch of uh, you know resources in this and then it's id okay they call it a splat is it so this is the way you can capture the output variables from one module to another okay now let me jump into vpcs maybe i'll uh, leave the ipam here and vpc variable let's uh, look at the vpc variable and then vpc now okay maybe uh, this is the vpc variable all right so well, let's see what we have here again in this vpc variable same values i have given uh, the reason why is that the, we need to find a way to mention uh, how many times the vpc has to be created okay uh, so the same variable i copied here and i'm um, keeping keeping it the same uh, it doesn't matter it could be any different uh, uh, ip address it's not necessary that it is going to uh, i mean get the ip address from here no it is going to get the cad plot from the pool but here i'm using it only for uh, count purpose I'll, I'll show you what it is now here the variable to capture the dependency to uh, you know ensure the vpc gets created uh, after the ipam and uh, this variable is to capture the pool id this would be used in the root module okay in the root module we are going to assign it we are not going to use it in the child module uh, let's see the code then you would understand so the vpc child module has only this much code nothing much okay the count uh, where i have mentioned var dot ipcadr it is actually getting it from the which is dynamically gets assigned from the root module okay uh, let's open up the root module here again this is uh, we are creating in mumbai calling the ipam module and in the module of vpc i'm calling the source from where the vpc code needs to be run and vpc depends on is this variable the re why i'm mentioning it in the variable.tf which is belongs to vpc is that this variable needs to be exclusively uh, mentioned and available in this uh, variable.tf because it will be uh, used within the vpc module block okay and uh, that is why now dependency between modules is if it is in the same module i mean if, if we are going to refer to a different resource it will be always be the resource uh, and then the resource name and and idea whatever or uh, just the resource uh, if it is module just exclusively mention module dot which module name and then in that module what are you dependent on we are dependent on the ipv4 pool that we are creating so the vpc would would be uh, created only after the ipv4 pool gets created all right now vpc should know what is the ipv4 pool id to request for the uh, cadrs okay i mean from which which pool it, it needs to take the ip so we are capturing it from the output you know you see the pool id mentioned here this variable actually we are uh, we are using it in the root module okay so pool id is equal to output of also 
output of this this is where we are referring to okay the ipcat or the variable mentioned here right what are we referring to we are capturing it as a list okay uh, we are uh, referring to module ipam CATRs. So the CATRs is here, uh, and uh, we are passing, capturing the list of uh, CATRs. So when you capture a list of values, you need to assign it as a list. What if you just mentioned like this uh, module.ipm.catrs? That means uh, what Terraform does is it takes the value of the last, uh, uh, you know, uh, last. Uh, item lost index of the list and using it okay maybe I'll show you I'll demonstrate okay. it doesn't matter I'll show you so you would understand we are capturing the output value here output value into the input variable in the main.tf okay now let's run uh, okay this is the main dot tf let's run the code terraform plan so okay during the plan it didn't detect anything okay it seems like it's good let's try terraform apply yes so it is creating the IPAM first the pool kits creating okay. two CADRs gets created in the IPAM now let's look at the VPC dashboard let's see okay the ipam gets created okay since so it's newly created so let's look at the pools we have one pool created in that we have two catrs created and it's provisioned now let's look at vpc vpc is yeah 15 and 16 both are created here okay there is a, a bit of a catch here what I said when we capture the output value a list of output value uh, and assign it in the input variable we can directly capture it we don't need to put to list which is uh, I, I was under the impression that in the input variable we need to capture it as the same uh, variable type but it not necessary it is just a good thing so I, I had this uh, before uh, when I used to create I captured it as a tool list in the in the in the value and uh, let the VPC to child model to create it it's still the same it works still the same but today I what I learned is not necessary to keep it as uh, I mean we don't need to capture because uh, we are not going to change it let's say if we, if we want to capture a particular resource value uh, as a different type maybe we need it let's say it is not a string I mean if you want to capture it as a string uh, you, you can do this to string the function you know converts that input value as a string and, and uh, store pause it as a string value but here we, we are capturing it as a list so list of string values right so the same format it gets assigned so it makes sense I hope uh, now you have an idea how to use modules how to use input and output variables uh, between modules and uh, if you have any doubts please uh, put it in the comment I'll try my level best to answer it yeah let's catch up in another uh, uh, good video thank you